protractor, you must have a protractor for every maths exam. Uh, GCSE, you might need it, worth taking it in. If you haven't got one, ask your teacher for it. So the way that we measure this angle is we have to make sure that this line here or this line here, but in this case, it's going to be this side, has to be level with exactly this line. And this crosshair here, where these two lines cross, this has to be exactly on this dot here. So what I sometimes do is I'll actually draw a bigger dot here so I know where I'm aiming for. And then I move the protractor and I move it so the crosshairs are on the uh, point. And then can you see I'm not quite level with my line here. Now, in moving my line level, I'm not quite on this dot, so I'm just going to move it. And what I do is I keep checking the dot and the line until I've got this line here and the dot. Then what I do is I, I look up at this scale. Now, I'm going from zero, and this is really important. This starts at 180, and I could count this way, but this isn't the angle I need. I need to always start from zero at the start of my angle. So I'm going from zero and I'm going up to 40. I go along to this large line and I count the little lines. It's one, two, three. So it's just about on that, uh, that angle. So the answer to this question is 43 degrees.